Hi, my name is Alan Wadsworth. I'm the Market Development Manager for this product line for the Americas region. And today I'd like to introduce to you a very exciting new product that we've come out with, which is the B2961A uh, low noise power source. This is a bipolar power supply with six and a half digit resolution. It can go from uh, 100 nanovolts up to 210 volts, as well as uh, three amps DC and uh, 10 and a half amps pulsed. Let me uh, highlight a few of the key features of this product. It is the world's only uh, six and a half digit resolution power supply with a wide range. Again, it's bipolar, so you can go from 100 nanovolts all the way up to 210 volts. Also, you can go up to 3 amps DC or 10 and a half amps pulsed. Also, it's got an extremely low noise floor. Uh, you can actually have a 10 microvolt RMS noise floor and the noise dependency versus frequency has, is 1 nanovolt divided by the square root of the frequency. It also has some built-in sourcing functions which you can do in either voltage or current. It's got six built-in functions such as sine wave, square wave, triangle wave and also a seventh arbitrary waveform generation function. In addition, the screen allows you to actually monitor your waveforms in the time domain in real time as you're making measurements. So today what I'd like to do is demonstrate these features to you and show you how easy it is to create arbitrary waveforms and monitor them using our time domain monitoring function. First, we have to set the output mode to be either voltage or current. As you can see, it's very easy to switch between these two modes on this instrument. Let's go ahead and set this to volts. Next, I need to set a limit for the current so that I don't risk damaging my device. Let's go ahead and enter 100 microamps as the current limit. Now I'm going to move this cursor down to the function and I'm going to go ahead and select the arbitrary waveform generation function of a sinusoid. Notice that there are many other types of waveforms also supported. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a sinusoid waveform. So let's move down and make the amplitude for this demo 1 volt and I'm going to move over here to the frequency and set this to be 1 kilohertz. Notice that by hitting the show preview button I can actually go ahead and get a preview of what waveform I'm going to be applying to my device. So now we've got the output of the B2961A connected up to our oscilloscope. I'm going to push the trigger button and you can see that we've generated one period of a sine wave. And now notice that by going to the view mode I can also show you the voltage sinusoidal waveform we've just applied also on the front panel of this instrument. And This is again not a preview, this is actual measurement of the waveform we've just applied. So for the next demonstration I'm going to change from forcing voltage to forcing current and I'm going to be basically applying a current ramp to an LED very slowly three times and showing you how the LED will light up each time. So to start I have to change the current mode make sure I'm in current mode not voltage mode here so I'm going to be in amps. Now I have to go down and set a limit of voltage and in this case for this device 2.7 volts is a good number. Now I'm going to move down to my functions and move down to ramp, select ramp. I'm going to go ahead and start so zero amps is fine. We're actually going to go up here to 20 milliamps so that also is good. And I want to make sure that I have the proper ramp time and number of steps so I've got three set here and also we've got a four second ramp. So this basically completes the setup and again of course if I want to I can look at my ramp here in the preview mode. We're going to go ahead and push the button and see the LED gradually light up three different times. So now we're going to go ahead and press the trigger button and we're going to look at the LED as it ramps three times and you can actually see now the ramp 
in the view mode here and the LED is turning on. And then of course repeating again. And basically now it's done. So notice that I can also go ahead and push auto scale if I'd like. And I can look at the waveform here. Again, this is the current waveform. I can also actually go in here and change from uh, current to voltage. And I can also see the voltage waveform. Notice that in this case we're limited to 2.7 volts because that's what we set the limit at earlier when we were setting up the measurement. So, as we've just shown you, the B2961A has many unique features that differentiate it from a standard power supply. Besides having an extremely wide range, up to 200 volts, it also has six waveform generation functions in addition to an additional seventh arbitrary waveform generation function. Also, it has this nice screen so you can actually monitor the waveform that you're outputting without using a separate oscilloscope. So as I hope I've showed you today, the B2961A has many useful features, especially for generating arbitrary waveforms in current and voltage. And please stay tuned because in the future we'll be coming out with additional videos that show other features of this quite uh, amazing product. And if you'd like to get more details specifically on the uh, B2960 or 2900, you can visit our website www.agilent.com and also if you'd like additional information on general parametric measurement knowledge, we have a very nice parametric measurement handbook which you can order for free by going to the website shown on the video.